Hey, Annie, how's it going today? What's up, Bernard Smalls? I like that name. <laughs> I love the name Bernard. I need you to know. Thank you. I'm, I, you know, I've been always picked up. I got picked on a lot with my name, so it's good to hear that. Hey, it listen, very... Annie, a Mexican girl in the hood <laughs> named Annie. Come on, like, listen, Bernard, <laughs> real recognizes <this> real. <laughs> <laughs> and I could say a, uh, a man named Bernard in the hood. I mean, you know, I hey. know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I enjoyed this movie a lot, and I got tons of questions to ask you. So let's, you know, jump right into this. Let's jump into it. Oh, Go. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Mr. Mont, I can't. I'm. I'm I don't want to butcher his name, but Montanier. Richard Story. Mont yes, Montañez. Oh, there you go. Is, you got it, Bernard. <laughs> is very legendary. You know, the flame of hot Cheeto is a beloved snack among many, especially here in the hood. Um, but and but not many will know about it. You know, not many will know about this story, and they'll probably do their googles and see there was some like little back and forth between himself and the company and so forth and so on. So I want to know before you hopped on in this project, did you know anything about this story, or, or were you just as shocked as myself to learn, you know, the whole backstory to this uh, iconic snack? I, I had kind of heard like remnants of the story because my Thea uh, works for PepsiCo or she actually just retired, which is so cool. Good for her. Um, but she, so I had kind of known about it, um, but I had, I had learned about the project. I want to say a year before it had um, come out to like auditions and, mm -hmm. and I thought it was a really awesome story. Definitely was definitely. Right? And it's an amazing story. Actually. I enjoyed this story a lot. Uh. I've just learned about it. It's so inspiring. Um, there was a, very inspiring. And there was a particular line in the film that stood out to me. And it was with, between Judy and Richard. And he said, there's a reason why poor people are always talking about God. Because when you don't got nothing, the guy promised you everything starts, starts to sound pretty good. And I wanted to know, you know, how do you interpret that, that, that line, that, that saying? Like, how does that interpret to you? I, that sounds like someone who's, who's very hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, who, who hasn't really had a lot of people believe in him. So it makes sense mm -hmm. that that's a vantage point that someone would come to when when refinding their faith within themselves. You know, how how can you really find faith in yourself if you don't believe in, in the bigger picture at large? It's really tough. It's really tough to believe in yourself when everything at every turn, especially in our society, especially at that time, is making you, I mean, you know, we're black and brown people here. It's 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 hard out here for a pimp. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody's trying to make you feel like you're less than because of your skin tone or because of your your gender identity. And 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 it makes a lot of sense as to why he felt that way. And and I think you you see the buildup of that to that line hmm. until he really does understand it's something bigger than him. And faith isn't a bad thing. You know, it can Absolutely. be really beautiful if if you're reminded that you're a part of the grand scheme of things. Absolutely. Well said. Now, I'm a, I can't front. Judy is my favorite. One of my favorite characters you did a fantastic job in the film, actually. Um, and I want to know, were you a <laughs> of course, you're welcome. Were you able to, you know, pick her brain and and talk to her and get in depth about the character and how she and how pivotal she was to Richard? Oh my God, I was, I was, and it was so cool. I felt, you know, with someone who's a reformed hood girl, I, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll ever be a reformed hood girl. You know what I'm saying? It's always gonna, it's always gonna live somewhere deep inside me. Even now, sometimes I'm like, what you looking at? I'm like, oh wait, I'm famous. Got it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, um, um, I when I met with Judy, I remember she was really nervous because she was like, I've worked so hard to shed that part of my life. You know, it wasn't a good time. Like, I don't want people to see that. I've really worked hard to be this Christian woman that you see before you today. And I, and you know, she was scared and, and I was like, yo mama, this is your testimony. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a very powerful part of your story. You're showing people that, that we are a many things and we don't have to be defined by, by a single moment or, or, or a piece of our story. Like, how dare anyone define me? Like, you believe in God, mama, like you understand, like only God can judge you. Right. And she was like, yo, I feel that. And I was like, and I would never, and, and I think a big part of why she was so terrified is we very rarely get stories like this that, mm -hmm. that show full colors of us, you know, especially mm -hmm. in marginalized communities. It's usually we have white people who are writing and telling our stories and we're, we're the placeholders in it. And when, when we are in it, it's, it's a very one note. 
Mm-hmm. And with this, it wasn't that. I mean, Linda Vet Chavez, starting, you know, from Richard and Devon meeting and then, you know, being both people of faith who understood the project and then him bringing on Eva and then Eva bringing on Linda and then and then Eva bringing on Federico Cantini. And so it was all. And, and after that, a bunch of Latinos as heads of department for the project. I think we've never had that. So she didn't under we I didn't even know that like we could tell stories that give us colors of complexity and we get to see the villain or origin story of something and then see the rise. Mm. Right. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What I love about this film is that it is, you know, there's faith involved in it, but it doesn't feel like that. It just feels like a very inspirational story about someone starting from the bottom and just working his way like, of the real American story, you know, the real, the real like American dream. And I, I know, and that's what I really loved about this film so much. Um, this one and speaking you know sticking with that there's no denying how his uh richard's drive you know but what really you know but really behind him was his wife judy and i wanted and i wanted to know if they were who was the judy for you in your life that pushed you and kept you going even when there were times when you were questioning yourself and questioning you know anything you were doing in life who was that person just kept making sure that you know you was on the right path my mom wow my mom, I, I, I've been, you know, I've been in this industry since I was nine years old. And there was a point where I was like 20 and I'm like, wasn't working and I'm frustrated. And there was a lot going, you know, that weird age from like 18 to 23, you're like, I don't know what I'm doing here. Mm-hmm. And I remember I would cry and I'd be, you know, I, I knew I've always wanted to occupy this space that I'm in right now today. I just mm. didn't know how. And I remember one day I was crying to her. I had a very similar moment to, to Richard where he's sitting on the couch drinking a beer and he's just sulking. And mm. I was like, I, you know, like, I'm not going to do it. I hate it. Like, I hate life. Like, I just, I don't want to be here anymore. Like, I hate, like, I can't figure it out. And, and she's like, you got it, mama. Like, I believe in you. And I'm like, but why? Like, why? She's like, there's, there's something that I can't explain. I just know you're going to do all the things, the things that you say you are, I believe in you. And I, I remember her having this unwavering faith in me, gave me that strength, much like Judy gave Richard in that moment to be like, damn, you want to survive this world? Get yourself a Judy. And that's my mama. She's one of my biggest supporters. And she's also one of my firmest hands. And you know, much <laughs> like Judy, she's going to tell you where you're messing up. <laughs> Shout out to mom. That's what mom's supposed to do. And we all, and we definitely all do need Judy's in our lives. So shout out to Judy as well. Yeah. And uh, final question, you know, the Flaming Hot Cheeto, in essence, is a product of the hood. It's a hood creation. It's a hood creation. It's a hood you know? creation. You know what I'm saying? It's a hood creation. So shout out to that. So, you know, I wouldn't, I'm curious to know, like, during, oh, like, is there a, like a particular snack that Annie came up with, like a hood creation that, you know, that's special to you that, you know, you add something that you, a food item that you added some flavor to a specific flavor to that you felt was good enough that, you know, maybe a company should take and market this and put it on the shelf. Did, did you ever come up with something that's unique to yourself that you Listen, man, when you're intoxicated and you're making snacks <laughs> late at night, everything feels like, yo, we put, <laughs> everybody needs to get on this. Y'all are wilding right now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I don't, know, I don't know if I take that to the bank, but you know. <laughs> no, the, add, add hot sauce to some unusual item. You know, add something like it doesn't need hot sauce, but you like hot sauce, man, so I got it. Totally, I, I, we <laughs> totally understand. Well, and you, Annie did amazing in the film. Again, Judy was my favorite character in the film. So more, I, I'm looking forward to seeing more projects with you in this as well. You are a great actress. Thank you. So, and it was a, I appreciate that. Welcome. I hope I get to talk to you again. And you got a cool ass name. Don't let anybody tell you everything different. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I I appreciate that so much. And, you know, I've Man, you don't have no idea how, how picked on I was for my name. But thank you so much for hearing that. I appreciate I it. It was a pleasure. That. And it was a pleasure talking to you today. Same here. Thank you. Bye.